the one, the only, Ben Seal. Good morning and welcome to Yeshiva YouTube Daily Double. Today we're starting the fifth parak of Mesechus Pesachim. Talk about Karbonos, the second half of Mesechus Pesachim, explicitly the Karam Pesach. Parak Tam Nishcha. Parak Mishnah Aleph says, Tam Nishcha B'Shmono Mechsa. On a normal day, in the base of Mig, there's Karban Tamid is shechted at eight and a half hours into the day, basically at 2.30 in the afternoon. V'karev b'teisha al-mechsa. And it's offered on the Mizbeach at nine and a half hours, which is mincha, ketana, basically. Technically, it's kosher to, to offer the karma mincha at mincha gedola at 12.30, but there's other karbanas which needs to be offered. The karma tamid has to be the last karban. So therefore, you push it off after. Ari p'sachim nishcha b'shev al-mechsa. On Erev Pesach, where you have to bring the carbon Pesach, Tamid is brought is, is slaughtered at seven and a half hours, it's at one thirty. But Karib Shmona Mechsa is brought on the Mizbeach at two thirty. Be Mechol be Mishabbos, whether Erev Pesach falls on during the week or Shabbos. Chal Erev Pesach goes by Erev Shabbos. How Erev Pesach falls on Erev Shabbos? Nishcha b'Sheishu Mechsa. Then you shecht it at eight, six and a half hours at twelve thirty. But Karib Shmona Mechsa is brought at one thirty by Pesach Acharav. The reason you have to do it so early is that the current Pesach has to be then shafted at eight, eight and a half hours, brought at nine and a half hours, because you need time to roast the current Pesach, because roasting the current Pesach is not Doche Shabbos. If it falls out on Shabbos, so the Shechita's Pesach is Doche Shabbos, but the Tzliya, the roast in the current Pesach, which you can eat at night by the Seder, does not Doche Shabbos. You want to eat it on Shabbos night. Now it's Friday, you have to roast it before Shabbos. That's why you need the extra time. Beis, a Pesach shashachtu shalol l'shmo. Karam Pesach shechted, not l'shmo. I mean, you shechted, you have in mind, it's not a Karam Pesach, you think it's a Karban Shlomim, or Karban Ola. The Kiba v'hilech v'zirak shalol l'shmo. And you accepted the blood, and you took the blood from his Mizbeach, and you threw the blood, all having in mind a different Karban. O l'shmo v'shalol l'shmo. Or you had the right Kavana when you shechted the Karam Pesach, but one of the other Avodos, the sprinkling of the blood, or the bringing of the blood, or the accepting of the blood was done with the intention of a different carbon, or the opposite, where the shrita was done without the right intentions, but the other procedure was on the right intentions, puzzle. It's a puzzle carbon. There's only two examples when I have dusha lolishma a carbon that's puzzle. One is a carbon chatas, the other is a carbon pesach over here. Keitzah, the first mission of Masech is Vachem. Keitzah lishmo vishalolishmo. What is lishmo lishalolishmo? Lashem pesach, lashem shlamim. Shalolishmo lishmo, lashem shlamim, lashem pesach. An example of that would be, right, the Shema would be L'Shem Pesach, and Shalol L'Shem would be Shem Shlomim, so whatever the Shechita was Shem Shlomim, or the other Avod is Shem Shlomim, even though the part of that Avod is on L'Shem Pesach, it's Puzzle. Now, stay tuned for Iyam Yitzhia, I want to discuss Karman, why the Karman Chata, it's really relevant to the first Mishnah, Masech HaSvachim, why it is that the Karman Pesach and the Karman Chata are, two, are unique Kar Karmanos, that they're not kosher. The carbonos are puzzled. They have to be burnt, right? Other carbonos, you're not all of the shame chova, but it is kosher as a nedava. The carbon is kosher. You can sprinkle the balamis beyach. You can eat the, the, the basar if you're supposed to eat basar from that carbon. Um, it's, a, it's a kosher carbon. It's just not all of the shame chova. It doesn't fulfill your chova. If it's an olas chova or a shalmi chova, something that you're obligated in, but it's, it's your yotze. Karban chatas or karban pesach, if they're not done for the right intentions, they're completely puzzled. Why is that? We'll explain specifically the car on Pesach, Ian and Sion, coming up next.